Welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to teach you about the virtual camera. Now, this is a camera that's not for your face necessarily. Now, this is very important to know. The, the, the camera is for your animation, and it goes on your timeline. And basically what happens is it gives you the ability to rotate blur, add all sorts of filters to your animation. So right now, let's just watch uh, what's going on. This person has created an animation using this virtual cam camera. So it starts off at the eye, and it, it's really blurry, as you see, and then it goes out. And I want to show you up top what the camera's actually doing. So we have the camera moving around and it's this is what actually it looks like in the end product. But when you're animating you actually see this going on. So this animation looks a lot larger than it actually is, meaning it looks like it took a lot more frames to produce this than it actually is. So let's let me show you how to use the virtual camera doing all these pan motions all sorts of things. You could also use the virtual camera for uh, video games. So, um, where you can get it at, let's look that. Where you can get that. Uh, BrianHeasy.com uh, slash blog. And you just go to the virtual cam for Action Script 2, if you're doing the Action Script 2, or virtual cam for Action Script 3. You click on that, it brings you to the page. And from there, you can download the virtual cam for Action Script 3. And once you've downloaded it, go to the your destination. I have a little animation going on here. And open it inside of your Flash document. And this is what it'll show up as. Uh, you see a timeline, and basically you see this uh, motion tween on a vCam layer, a virtual cam layer, and the graphic. So we have this virtual cam uh, going through an animation. In fact, let's test it out. This is what we download from the website. And we can see that it's going through all sorts of stuff. Uh, but when we look at it down here, it's doing absolutely nothing but a simple tween. And the graphic, which is those four circles, isn't doing anything either. So I've created an animation of uh, this kind of stick guy, or not really a stick guy, Circle Man, call him Circle Man, why not? Circle Man, he wants to walk up to the wall and do a flip. So what I've added is a uh, virtual cam layer, which basically, I'll just play the animation right now. The virtual cam does a few close-ups on him as he runs through the animation. So let me show you that. Turn on the layer with a virtual cam. Let me zoom out. Alright, so I have the virtual cam going on. And I have it on top of the very top layer. And I'll show you how to drag it in in the animation really quickly. So right now, I'll show you what's going on. So I'm just going to press enter and show you that how the virtual cam is acting. So it does that side view. It blurs a little bit. And then it goes back out. So let's test this movie. All right. So it goes, he walks, goes to the edge, you know, flips. You see the blurring. Really cool effect. Really, um, this looks like I've spent a lot of time to... To produce this effect, when actually I've just made a few motion tweens and that's it. So the first thing is that you need to create your animation. So let's open a new document. I'm going with AS3 since I chose the AS3 uh, v virtual cam. And the virtual cam in AS3 has more effects on it. So um, that's a reason why I picked it. I'm just going to copy a few frames of animation. And in fact, why not copy all the frames of animation? So I'm just going to paste the frames of animation. So all I have right now is my person walking and doing his little flip. So let's start using the virtual camera. So I just add a new layer into the the animation, and I'm going to drag this the layer that I've just created all the way to the top. Uh, and now I want to go to the virtual cam three. AS3. The way I do that, or the way I bring that in, I have my layer selected and I go to the library and instead of, I'll, I'll click on this item up here and go to VCAM AS3. And in VCAM AS3 inside of its library, you're able to drag out the virtual cam. So have the virtual cam FLA open and uh, just drag it into your screen. And there you have your virtual cam. 
and I'm going to just collapse the library and let's look at it. This is what the virtual cam looks like. If we test it out right now, you can see how much it cuts off of the screen and how much it goes off of the screen. The virtual cam can follow your character anywhere. But in the last frame, we don't get to see him. When he flips back, he goes off stage. So we can actually get to see him go off stage. So I'm just going to return that. We didn't get to see him jump on the wall, but we did get to see him flip back. So what I'm going to do is because the limits of the stage, I'm going to make the car I'm going to make the uh virtual cam follow my character from flip all the way to uh to his landing. So let's do that. So I have my virtual cam here and from here I can create I can just right click on the virtual cam layer and that will give me a pop-up menu. So right click on it and I can create a motion tween and or I can create the uh, the classic tween and the classic tween is just like uh, before all your their older versions you know um, a flash so I'm going to stick with the classic tween it's it's simpler in my opinion so okay so we're gonna head to the first frame and from the first frame we just want to look off to where we want to change the position of the camera so let's say in, ta in frame 15, I need to move over a little bit. So I'm going to press F6. And with, with F6, it, you can see that it is creating an arrow. So I can move the virtual cam um, to whatever position, whatever new position, and everything in between Flash will calculate and animate it. So if I press Enter, I can see the virtual cam is moving. So it's just a simple back and forth. So right about here I guess I want my uh, hero to I want my camera to move back to my hero and I'm just moving it around there there can all sorts of things can be applied to this let me just zoom out right now all I did was just move it back and forth with the classic tween if I press Q I can transform it in any way I want I can scale it by holding shift so I can get that zoom in which is really cool. You probably would really love to use that. I can also rotate it, but also with my item selected, depending on where you want your animation to begin. If, like, say, if we wanted to add a some sort of filter to it, we would the animation. Let's look at this here. So the animation it starts off really big, and at the end, it creates a close up of my character. And in that close up, that last frame, this is my final frame of the virtual camera. I want it to kind of fade out. So what I could do with that frame selected and my virtual camera selected, go into the properties panel. And in the properties, let me make sure my virtual camera is selected. In the properties, I can go to the filter tab and there I can click on the add a new filter. And there's all sorts of filters that I can add. You can't see them. Um, for instance, adjust color. And I could just turn up the, or turn down the brightness, let's say. Turn down the contrast. And let's see what that'll do. So it starts off really big, it scales down, and I turn the brightness and contrast all the way down. So maybe I created a fade out type of effect. Oh, it just faded out my character. It's pretty cool too, pretty cool too. Um, if I had a background, I'd probably all go to that gray color. Well, it's not too impressive. Let's do something else. Um, go back in the properties what I'm going to do is add a glow to it so let's see how that works out so it starts off clean and clear and it has a red glow at the end so that's pretty cool everything inside of the animation gets a red glow to it so it's it's a really easy way of creating some really complex things inside of your animation a uh, virtual camera is you wonder why it's not a component inside of ActionScript, I mean inside of Flash for animation, really useful. You will, after you learn to use the virtual cam, it's, you'll do animation like, uh, how did I animate without it? So thanks for watching this on Enter Flash tutorial. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment. Go to my website, on Enter Flash, where I have the links to all the, um, the vCam, so you can download from my site. And uh, thanks for watching. And while you're at my site, click on an attitude so I can make.
him continue to flip. Um, he, I, he charges me 15 cents every time he flips. This is a very dangerous job. And he's glowing red, which is extra 5 cents. So he's already cost me $12 just doing this animation. All right, thanks for watching this tutorial.